Thank you, Blaine. Appreciate it. Andre, good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, everybody. Uh, we just had to wait for Andre's daughter, who was trying to steal some screen time from our uh, media availability this morning. So thank you for your patience. We're joined by recently signed forward Andre Palat. We're excited to have him join us in Jersey. At this time, we'll open it up to questions. Media, just please send me a note in the chat, and I'll add your question to the queue. We'll lead off with Anthony Fusilli, MSG Networks. Congratulations. Um, just your thoughts on why New Jersey and uh, your excitement to be here. Yeah, it's awesome. And uh, I'm really excited uh, that I joined New Jersey. Um, you know, the talk with the Tom Pedro went really well and uh, it was great. And I'm really happy I, I joined New Jersey Devils. Andre, obviously, this team is in search of what you've already been able to do and win at the highest level. What, what do you bring to this team and, and what is your uh, feeling about joining a younger team to teach them uh, what it takes to, to win at this level? Yeah, you kind of you kind of said it, you know, I, I've been there when I was younger and uh, we had older guys in the Tampa Bay Lightning team and and now I kind of older guys. So I'm really excited to, to join a younger team with the with a great young talent and um, I'm so excited. So, and I think I can bring, you know, uh, like you said, a little bit of uh, experience and, uh, and yeah, just uh, experience and uh, I'm, I'm excited. And lastly, just, just on the ice, where do you think you can help this team um, as far as uh, special teams and, and just, you know, your play, your, your ability to, to score clutch goals? Yeah, I mean, I don't care. Whatever, whatever coach want me to do, uh, I would do. You know, I can play on PP. I can, I can kill penalties. But uh, you know, any any role the coach will give me, I, I will do that. I think that's important. Then that every every player will accept the the role that the coach and and uh, the the coaching staff give him. So uh, I'll just do whatever whatever uh, it takes to you know make this team better and and help them uh, win. Thank you. Thank you, Fooch. Next question, go to Amanda Stein, NewJerseyDevils.com. Hi, Andre. Welcome to the team. I'm just wondering if you can elaborate a little bit on the discussions that you had with Tom Fitzgerald, because at the end of last year, he really talked about wanting to bring in not only players with experience, but you know that championship mentality. Did you guys talk about that at all? Yeah, I think so. Like I said, the discussion with Tom was, was really great. And uh, uh, yeah, that's what he was kind of saying, you know, uh, he, he, he has a, or we have a great young team that uh, needs a little bit more experience. But uh, yeah, I think he, he said, that's what, that's what they want, bring a little bit more experience and, uh, and leadership and the talent is there. So uh, we just need to need to win more and get comfortable and play for each other. And, and, and uh, yeah, and I, I trust this team that will be good. What type of leadership style do you think you have? Are you more of a lead by example, quiet guy? How do you sort of play that out as your role? Yeah, I think exactly what you say. You know, I, I'm, I'm not a big talker because I was, you know, uh, I was kind of always younger, a younger guy on a, on a team with a lot of, a lot of, uh, stars, a lot of, you know, we had almost three captains in the last year, you know, Steven Stamkos, McDonough, so a lot of leaders that I learned a lot, but, you know, um, if if there's a need to say something, I will do it, but, uh, you know, I will, I will, like you said, lead by example on the ice and do do what, whatever it takes to play the right way. Are you familiar with anybody on the team? Uh, I know Tomas Tatar for a long time, so we are in touch. Uh, Vanya Cech joined the team. He's Czech. I, I don't really know him, but I'm sure we just we're gonna be fine because he's a he's a Czech, obviously. So I have to text him too. Um, yeah, and I think that's it. Yeah. Um, and then finally, just for you, as someone who has spent their entire career in Tampa Bay, I'm sure you know. Even though you get excited for a new opportunity, it's difficult to leave what you've the only thing you've ever known behind. So. What was this process like for you when Julien Brisebois said, you know, we're moving on from this situation and now you get to explore the market? Yeah, I mean, last couple of weeks was a kind of emotional roller coaster, you know, from 
you know, being in playoff and losing and then, then get into a uh, free agency market. Um, so it's, it's different, you know, I've been in Tampa for 10 years and um, yeah, we just, now we're, we're happy. I signed with New Jersey, but it's, we have to, you know, uh, find everything new, everything's going to be new for us. So, so uh, yeah, we're going to, we wanted to get to New York as soon as possible, you know, to see and explore a little bit more. We have daughters, so I would love to find her, the school for her. So yeah, it's going to be hard, but uh, it's a, it's a new challenge for us and it's part of the, or the, the, the hockey business. Welcome to the team and looking forward to meeting you soon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Amanda. Our next question goes to Tom Canavan, Associated Press. Hey, Andre. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Tell your daughter she can't have the car this weekend for making you late. <laughs> <laughs> how old is she? Uh, she'll be four in November. <laughs> when did you know that your time in Tampa was up? Did you have an inkling any time recently or did you know since midseason or what? You know, it was kind of the whole season I knew or everybody knew in what kind of situation Tampa is that they would they would have to do some decisions and uh, and they did. So um, probably a whole year it was in my head. So I was preparing my family, you know, maybe there will be a time that we might we we can leave Tampa or we will leave Tampa after a season. And that's what happened. And, and I knew it exactly like a week ago that um, I'm not going to sign uh, with Tampa and I'm going to hit the, the free agency. Were your talks with Jersey kind of like, was Fitzy saying to you, look, we want you to play, but we're also in the hunt for Johnny Gaudreau. I mean, did that have any overlap? No, not really. Uh, I mean, obviously I, I saw the, the, the news that, you know, I think uh, Tom was in a hunt for uh, uh, Johnny. But also, I, I, I had some news that uh, the New Jersey uh, is looking for me, or not for me, but you know, they were, they talked to me, and uh, so I know there's an interest there. So and then we we progress in the talk, and then you know, I we decided to to sign. Have you a preference for playing with Jack or Nico? No, I don't care. <laughs> they're, they're, they're obviously awesome players. So like I said, uh, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care who I'm going to play with. It's going to be uh, fun no matter what. And uh, I'm, I'm really looking to, you know, meet those guys and, and play with them. One final question. Are you ready for a season of snow? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, not, but yes. Uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be different. You know, my, my daughter never, never saw snow, my dog neither. So it's going to be different, but we're excited and, and uh, we can't wait to, to get into New Jersey. One quick final question. Do you know Patrick Elias? Yes, I do. That's the one guy he called me to. And uh, yeah, I know him. I played with him at the I think 2014 Olympics in, in Sochi. And uh, we were in touch together. What did he say to you about the team? All, all the good things, you know, up and coming team, young team with a lot of ta talent. And, uh, and he said, I'm, I'm going to be really, really happy here. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Tom. Our next question go to Ryan Ovazinski and J.com. Hey, Andre. Obviously, you know, for as long as you've been in Tampa Bay, they've pretty much been really good and, and uh, you know, had very different records than New Jersey did last year. Are you ready to sort of step into like a re more rebuilding type situation? I think so. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be different, but I'm excited for that uh, for that role. Like I said, I think New Jersey have great young team that uh, they're ready for the next step, and uh, I'm I'm excited for it to be there and and help them. You said that you were one of the you know younger guys on this Tampa team for the longest time. Um, are you ready to step into that that more leadership uh, mentor kind of role? I think so. Yeah, I mean, I was I was younger, you know, 10 years ago when it was uh, Marty St. Louis and Le Cavalier. But uh, yeah, I was, I think I was a little, little bit of a leader too, you know, like I said, uh, leading by example on the ice. But yeah, I, I'm ready. I'm ready to, to be the leader and uh, 
help the young guys a little bit out, and uh, I'm very excited. Thanks, Andre. You're welcome. Thank you, Ryan. Next question, go to Joe Smith of The Athletic. Hey, Andre, good to see you. Congratulations. Um, Thank you. I know you, you said an emotional roller coaster, and, and you see other guys, Johnson and everybody else, leave in the past, but when it came to a point where you knew you weren't coming back, what were your emotions? Or was it sad? Was it, you know, you look back with fond, fond memories? Or what was the emotions there when you knew it wasn't going to happen? Yeah, it was, I was sad. I'm not going to lie, you know, uh, leave Tampa after 10 years. Uh, I was sad. and But like I said, I was kind of preparing myself a uh, whole year that there's going to be chance that, that I'm going to leave Tampa. But uh, yeah, it's it's a business. And uh, now when I sign with the New Jersey, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not sad anymore. I'm, I'm really excited and, and uh, to join the team and, and uh, get the season going. Julian said, you know, they knew from the start it'd be hard to keep you, but they, they tried to, or they tried to think of creative ideas for it to happen. Did you get an offer from them during the whole process that you could consider, I guess, or what was that like? Um, yeah, I mean, they, they talk with my agent. I got, I don't think I got like officially offer, but I, I knew the, the terms and the, the money and just, yeah, it was just wouldn't work. And just what's your, you, know, you look back on that 10 years to be with Coop and all those guys in Norfolk, but what is your favorite memory or favorite memory is you leave, um, with that organization? Well, obviously, you know, winning uh, two Stanley Cups with the with the guys that was that was amazing. But the whole the whole ten years, you know, how you become from the you know before I got there, they were at the bottom of the league, and then we were just starting to get better and better. And it it took a lot of years to 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 made it to win Stanley Cup. But it was it was fun to see the how the team is getting better, and more mature, and and uh, then we won. So. Probably, yeah, how, how we won to Stanley Cup. That was the best thing in Tampa. You're bringing Sweet Caroline over there to your New Jersey? Sorry? You're bringing Sweet Caroline song to, to New Jersey? Uh, I'm not sure if New Jersey having uh, they're having uh, goal songs for, for players, but we'll see. I, I didn't really think about that. Congratulations. Take care of you and your family. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Last question. Go to Mark Roseman, Sports Talk NY. Congratulations, Andre. So uh, I just want to know, like when a player gets to free agency, there's a, a checklist. A lot of guys have different priorities. Sometimes it's the culture of the team, neighborhoods, proximity to home, ability to win a Stanley Cup. Uh, where were your priorities when you were looking for a team? And does the fact that you already have a, a Stanley Cup ring, does that also change those priorities? Um, I mean, not really. Uh... When you win Stanley Cup once, you you want to win again. So it's it's not like I don't want to win. Uh, I just I just like the I just really like the team, and I believe in this New Jersey team that they're young and they're they're they can do something special. They have a lot of talent, and I think they're ready for the for the next step. So I you know I decide uh, about that. I, I was I was thinking about my family too, but. You know, everybody I talked to uh, who play or lived in New Jersey, they said it's a, it's a great place for family. Uh, so I made that decision. So it's it's going to be colder, but uh, we're going to be okay with that. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, everyone. And thank you also to Andre for joining us.